All right, contestant number 4,749. We have Shalit here, huh? A Saiyan, okay. Well, it seems on your resume, you only have been in one single game. Dragon Ball Legends. Don't see you anywhere in the anime. Uh, I don't see you anywhere in Dokkan, Dragon Ball Heroes, nothing. You are only in that one mobile game. Uh, seems that uh, I shall deem you as not DLC quality for pack number 10. Wait, what the fuck? Are you kidding me? I'm not DLC quality, but you're gonna put Android 21 in here. How is that even fair? Well, you see, the difference between you and Android number 21 is that she has tits. That's it. Man, this is bullshit, alright? A lot of people want me in the game. Come on, you can, you know, pull some strings, squeeze me in. Okay, let's see what you can do first, okay? Show me some of your abilities and maybe, just maybe, I might accept you. Alright, let's do this. Here's one of my coolest skills. I know how to go Super Saiyan. Holy shit, Code Red, Code Red! A character that actually has an awakening, we cannot have that. Unacceptable. Not allowed in any future DLC content for Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. They must be base form or the full powered form. We must milk as much as possible. You have been exterminated. Alright, what is up? This is Slowplays back in some more Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. So today, guys, we just have a little bit of a different video. Um, it's not anything too significant in terms of the mod series. I guess you could call this just like more of a spin-off video. Uh, this is more of just something where I wanted to show you guys what it would be like to actually have these characters in the game. And by these characters, I mean the Fallen DLC. I shall call it the Fallen DLC pack. <laughs> For the modded content here, we got my boy Shallot by the homie Jackal. Um, it's been a while since I actually covered this mod, and I wanted to uh, re-showcase this one because I did a poll yesterday, and there was an overwhelmingly high response. I do appreciate it, guys. We had almost 10,000 people that voted on this, and I asked what character, and I gave you guys a choice out of four characters, um, three of them being actual legit characters that could possibly be in the game, and then one of them being just like in a joke, obviously being the farmer with the shotgun, which did get a 15%, which I thought was hilarious. But um, Shallot got a 68% vote, Topo got an 11%, and sadly, PyCon was falling behind at 6%. So even Topo was pretty low. Um, I thought he would be actually like pretty high as well. But more than anything, I guess because Android 21 was, um, you know, the first DLC character to be revealed here, uh, Shallot was almost like, you know, for sure gonna be in it. But obviously, you know, that didn't end up happening. We ended up getting Oob. So this is kind of just more of like uh, my initial opinions on the whole situation and just to have some fun gameplay in the background. Um, I also had the God of Destruction Topo by the, uh, you know, Time Patrollers, the homies. Uh, I always want to say Pride Troopers, dude. I always screw that up. But um, I did actually customize this little shallot myself with a couple of cool moves and everything. Uh, we have the normal God of Destruction Topo. And we're just going to kind of uh, mess around with them with the new textures and everything. And I'm just going to give you my overall thoughts on the situation and stuff um, with this DLC. So if you guys could do me a huge favor, I would really appreciate, you know, dropping a like on this video. It just shows that you guys want to see more content like this here on the channel. Uh, like I said, this one's just more of a fun video today. Um, just to kind of discuss everything and I want to see your opinions down below as well my friends So comment down below and tell me um, what character would be the most fitting for uh, Xenoverse 2 DLC or even what you would want to see in Xenoverse 3 now Let me tell you guys something the reason why I don't think we're getting Shallot is Probably because he's only been in Dragon Ball Legends so far I I don't know what it is about Shallot and just like keeping him like ex like just completely secluded to just Dragon Ball Legends like we don't see him in uh, Dragon Ball Heroes we don't see him in uh, Dokkan you know nothing else but Android 21 we've seen in Heroes we've seen in Dokkan and obviously in fighters so it's like shallots in such a weird area I, I i don't i don't even like i don't know like what we're gonna see with this dude in the future and everything but you know shout out to my boy kagi 
Uh, I would love to hear Kagi's own, you know, actual voice or whatever. Uh, this does actually have Kagi's voice in here, uh, which is pretty cool. It has, like, the transformations and everything, uh, too, from Jackal. Like, look at this. We have Ancient Super Saiyan. It has the exact animation imported and everything, and it just looks so fantastic. Like, I'm telling you guys, like, this character would... He would fit so well, just like his overall, like, moveset and combos and everything. They could get straight from... You know, Dragon Ball Legends, I feel like it's like a no-brainer that they put this character in here. But I don't know what the deal is, why they're just trying to milk some other characters or whatever it may be. Oh, and guess what? Big Bang Blockade. Yes, I know, guys. The five on the bottom are going underground. Oh, <laughs> here. Let me do it for y'all. Five underground. Five underground. Five underground. <laughs> My God. <laughs> All I gotta say is I'm still getting comments on that crap, but check this out. We got the Warrior's Blood, which is super sick. This is a nice boost and everything too here. Dude, like, I, this is what I want. This is what I want in the next DLC pack. I want Shallot, and I want God of Destruction Topo. Like, Oob, I mean, he does make sense. I'm glad we're getting Oob, but, like, man, did it take a while for them to give us Oob. And don't get me wrong, I'm very excited for it. I'm going to be happy with the DLC at the end of the day. But I wanted to make this video for y'all just to show you guys that, you know... There is actual, like, possibilities of seeing this character in the game, man. Like, it, it's honestly so legit. It would be so sick. What else we got here? Got that Supreme Charge. My man coming through. The, the arms crossed like a pin. So, uh, this also has a wild cannon, if you guys didn't know. And it looks so cool, dude. I love it. He actually says it, too. Listen. Is that not sick, bro? I love it. I freaking love it. Let me try out Villain Punisher if this actually will work. Hey, let's go. Shout out to Kuron for the skill, man. But uh, this mod, overall the model and everything, Jackal did a great job on it. Um, I wish he would update it with Super Saiyan 2. I think that'd be super sick. And uh, maybe I'll, I'll uh, return to this mod if somebody does make it. But uh, I want to see more Shallot mods, man. I want to see more Shallot mods in the future. It's just way too amazing and fun uh, of a character just to, like, you know, not have in this game. And I feel like he's just so fitting. And we also got my boy Topo here, you know. It just Topo's so good, man. Like, we gotta have all these guys. Look at the, the combos and everything that you could pull off with this dude. Like, I'm telling you, mods, at the very least, at least we got this. Am I right or am I right? <laughs> Hokai Ball. And I love, I love the fact that he does change uh you know like color and everything and there is an aura that you can actually put him on uh put on him as well and everything but i didn't want to you know get it a little bit too crazy sometimes the aura can really really like just like blow your freaking eyes off dude <laughs> one time i was covering it and i was like god damn my eyes <laughs> my eyes hurt man but uh it's nice to see these guys in the uh, demon boy texture it just looks really overall just beautiful and everything and this is, these are the skills that actually you're supposed to work with these characters, man. Like, seriously, dude. We got the true Hakai, too, which I threw on there just for fun, bro. But, like, honestly, like, we gotta, we gotta have these guys, man. We really gotta have these mans, these dudes out here. Uh, I wanna go into the versus mode, and I wanna do a uh, face-off against Android 21 here as well. Let's do a little, like, 2v2 or something. I think that'd be super sick, so... I mean, just like I said, um, more of a fun video. Let me know down below uh, what you really do want to see for uh, future DLC or even what you want to see in Xenoverse 3, my friends. So let's go and go into the versus mode and uh, let's have some fun, all right? All right, my friends, so we're going to do a little 2v1 here. Get our revenge on Android 21 for taking the spot of Shallot and God of Destruction Topo. Not really, but yeah, I just wanted to have fun with it. Um, now, Topo is a, is, is a very weird case. I'm surprised at this point in time, he's not in the game. Like, I don't get that. That one really makes no sense. The Shallot thing, I can understand a little bit more. You know, like I said, they're, they're just like keeping him exclusive to... Uh, <laughs> legends for whatever reason which i mean that's cool that's fine or whatever uh the moment i see him in like dokkan or especially dragon ball heroes the moment he's in dragon ball heroes i can see him having a higher chance of being in xenoverse because a lot of dragon ball heroes uh characters and everything kind of are based on xeno like you know mira toa you know we have uh what is it xeno trunks supreme kai of time and everything like there's a lot going on there and man i love i love the red costume for this man this, this looks freaking sick dude this i got some little bit of little bit of energy shot going down here dude my boy topo he going in he's like i, I really want the revenge on andrew Tony. he's like i want that dude he's like, I, want, I want that dlc pussy bro <laughs> no not november let's get it 
Dude, does he have, wait, he's got super key explosion? Hell yeah, dude. I'm gonna go for it hard. Oh, crap. She going in on me. Yo, Shala and Android 21. They, they, they a pair made for each other. Let's get it. Mm. You, you, you get him. Yeah, Toma, let's get it. Let's get it. My guy, my guy. Let's go. Dude, let me get this right here. What else we got here? Uh, Let's see here. Do I wanna, do I wanna hero pose it up? Oh, yes. We looking litty titty. Wild kitten. Oh, crap. Hello, hello. Get off, get off. <laughs> My man Topo, he comes through, man. He comes through. Look at that. Oh, what a beautiful mod, man. What a beautiful beyond DLC quality. This is what we need. We're missing it. How could you, Dibs? How could you give us oob? I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> but in all seriousness, my friends, um, just let me know down below what, what, what you truly truly want to see memes aside jokes aside uh no farmer with the shotgun no you know no silly characters i'm talking about legit characters you personally personally believe can have an opportunity to be in this game as as a character whether it be future dlc whether it be xenoverse 3 xenoverse 27 whatever it may be just what do you think could actually happen with it and chalet i mean for right now it's just I don't know. It, it doesn't look. It doesn't look that good for him, especially since you know I haven't seen him in anything else other than Legends. But I would love to see my boy Taggy in there. And uh, Topo, he gotta be in it, man. Topo has gotta be a, in it eventually, or Xenoverse Three for sure, because there's no way they're gonna leave this guy out. This guy is too unique of a character to leave out, in my opinion. But um, big shout outs again to Jackal for the Shala, as well as the time patroller team for god of destruction topo beautiful mods um honestly mods make this game you know worth it for me to play every single day so have a great one you guys and just you know leave a like if you did enjoy it and uh subscribe here on the channel for more content i'll see you guys then all right peace love y'all